Yeah, so we are here with head coach Brandon Elliott and student athlete Sophia Escola and Caitlin Myers. So coach, things got pretty close there in the sixth inning. What did you do to make sure the momentum didn't swing too much going into the last inning? <laughs> Brought this kid in. Um, yeah, you know, first of all, I think us and uh, they did they did a phenomenal job. Their kids battled. They had you know long at bats, wore Emily out, um, and they just they just grinded um, the entire day and it made it tough on us. Uh, and their pitchers kept us off balance. Uh, but then we got in late. We we could tell you know Emily we were trying to get through the six until she was getting a little bit tired. Um, and you know I mean this kid's I think as the years gone on, uh, Sophia's come in more pressure situations. Like it's been some easy situations and then. Those situations have escalated um, as the year has gone on, and um, you know, so we gave her a shot, and um, and she did what she needed to do, and we made a couple of defensive plays, and we were able to get out of there with a win. So, like you mentioned, you brought in Sophia, and Sophia, you had to face some tough batters there in the seventh, especially number eighteen was one of the better batters on Husky. Was that an intentional walk there to make sure she didn't drive in the, yes. the tying run? <laughs> yes. yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about your approach going into the seventh inning? What, what was going through your mind? Um, well, this year I've played a really big uh, closer or relief pitcher, and um, I've been put in some pressure situations, like he said, but it's nothing I wasn't prepared for. I have a good team to back me up and everything, so it's nice to have him on the field. Great. And Caitlin, you want to walk us through a general offensive approach? What were you trying to do behind the plate against Husky pitchers today? Um, I, we had an approach going into the game, um, eyes down, staying into our legs. Um, so that was kind of the mentality the whole game. And I took that and run with it, ran with it. Um, but as a team, uh, team's approach today, I think we did pretty well, uh, all around. So you guys are done for the day now. How important is getting that extra rest going into tomorrow? What were you guys going to do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna go scout, so there's no no rest a little bit. But you know it's huge being a winner's bracket, and that's that's the advantage. Um, we've got a long bus ride, and we get these guys stretched and out of here and change, and be able to relax a little bit and recover. Again, like we said yesterday, it's been a really really long week and a lot of travel and a lot of time on the bus, um, and so we're fortunate that we're uh, be able to wait and sit around and let these guys you know battle it out. I hope they play about 900 innings, um, <laughs> and uh, you know we'll come back. You know we're still exhausted too, and so we got to come back and, and be able to recover tonight. Congratulations, guys. Right. Close one today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.